This is just an old trailer. I think it was a 1960-some trailer that they converted for this use. So it serves its purpose. You can see from the collection of flies on the floor, and we're using it for some storage. So it uh, just sets your empties. This comes with the job. And I wanted to be a part of this prison system and be part of this Department of Corrections. And it came with the job. And you just got to keep in mind that it's not me personally that's the executioner. It's the state of Montana. And I'm just following the laws of the state of Montana, but it, uh, fortunately or unfortunately, uh, it's not something I'm going to have to fulfill in my, my short tenure here. Yeah, I am grateful for that in all honesty. Um, I would but understand, I would fulfill the mission, I would fulfill my duty, I would fulfill my responsibilities if called upon. But it is kind of a sense of relief that I'm not going to have to do that. I believe two weeks, uh, once we get the death order, starts the ball rolling um, and step-by-step -step process broken down into hours leading up to the execution and after the execution. Different roles of different people, different roles of the executioner, the transport team, the holding team, the, the uh, medical people that are here, the coroner, it just breaks it down step-by-step, hour-by-hour, in some cases half-hour by half-hour. Um, those phones are tested prior to the execution and tested right before the execution and it's if there's any last minute stays, anything like that. But after the uh, specified time, the warden would read the charges and any last words, and then the warden would give a signal to the executioner and we'd start to put the, the drug flowing. Uh, from the very beginning, once the death, the death order comes down from the courts and it's complete, takes up all your time. And yeah, and it, it's you've got somebody laying there that you're standing there talking to that's going to be dead in a matter of minutes after the. Execution starts. Thank you.